Coupons um, 101. Okay. Welcome to Couponing 101. Actually, this is probably like whatever's below that, like 99 or something. <laughs> um, so, everybody wants to know how, everybody, everybody every day asks me how I save so much money couponing. Um, not really. But a lot of people have asked, and I said I would do a coupon blog back in the day, and then I said, well, hey, now we're doing blogging, I can do a blog, and it'll get up quicker, and no typos. I'm going to talk about what I do for couponing and um, how I do it all. This is not by any means the only way. It is really not the, probably not the best way. This is just the way that works for me and what I do. So, take it as you will and do what you want with it. So, my most important things that I have to get started with couponing are first, this big old bag right here which probably looks kind of scary and it didn't start out this big, it started out as like a couple of folders. So the first thing that people say when they start couponing is, I got all the coupons out of the Sunday paper and none of them were ones that I wanted to use or none of the items were on sale this week. Well those coupons don't expire like right away. So you want to save them because a lot of them last for two or three or more months. So what I have is this handy dandy bag, which when I started, so say for example, the very first time I ever did it, I got the important coupons out of the Sunday paper. So I had, this one I actually have a ton of, this isn't a good example. But like, usually there's maybe sometimes a General Mills coupon section, a Smart Source coupon thing, and Red Plum. Sometimes there's also Procter & Gamble. But Red Plum and Smart Source are the ones that are most often in there. So Sundays, I don't spend a lot of time sitting down, taking out everything. I just get them out of the paper put them in a thing and mark them with what the date is. So when I started, I just had a couple folders and not a big old bag. Now I've got all this random stuff in here. So that's the first thing that's important. So when you're getting started couponing, um, start saving coupons from the Sunday paper, even if you don't think you're gonna use them. Save little coupon books. What, every time you go to Publix, look for their little coupons and random little things they have in the front of the store. Also, finding them in random places, this is like a thing that came out of the package of turkey we bought. This is random 60 cent savings. Which you think, oh that's not a big deal. But watch later, it might work to your advantage. So the first thing that we're working on is saving the coupons from the Sunday paper. The second most important thing is this handy dandy binder right here. This didn't come along until after I've been couponing for like six months or so maybe. Um, but this is where, because I started out collecting all these little random coupons, peely things that you peel off the of packages and all kinds of stuff. Um, and just, they were piling up in all kinds of random places. So, I think I watched somebody's, um, I don't know, somebody's vlog about their couponing. This is the way I do it, not the way everybody does it. But so the way I have mine is alphabetized. Some people like to do them by... <laughs> See, I've saved so many lately. I haven't. Some people do them by um, like categories. So some people have frozen section, breakfast foods, um, baking supplies, things like that. That gets too confusing to me because I would have like Nutri-Grain bars and I'd be like, well, does that go with breakfast or does that go with snacks? So I said, screw that. I'm, screw that. I'm doing them with letters. <laughs> so I went to the store and bought some of these. They're just baseball card inserts. Um, get you some nice colored paper so they don't all run together. You don't see them all. And then these handy dandy little tab things um, that I got, I don't know, Target or something for like $2. And then the binder, which you want one that zips because when you get behind on putting all your coupons in there, look at this, they become a mess, which I go through every so often and organize them. But so for me, I've got like, you know, B, Bob Evans, Betty Crock or something. Um, got some Cascade, Crest, Cr Ocean Spray. Why is that in there? That doesn't go with the C's. Well, looky there. See, it's not always <laughs> perfect. <laughs> um, I guess that needs to go with the cranberry. I was thinking cranberry juice. Yeah, that's that. what it was. Okay, but anyway, so that, and then I actually do have at the end, they all go in order. And then there's pets because I can never find pet coupons. But clearly, there's not any in there. This thing used to be packed when I was really hardcore couponing, but I'm not so much anymore. Um, I also keep random little booklets in here, like these have a bunch of different ones, which I just haven't taken the time to go through and tear out and put Where do you get the those? alphabet. 
These actually came out of, I bought one of these little hefty pans and it was in there. Uh. So those are the things you want to look out for and save up because they will come in handy. So second most important thing is a binder to keep all the excess coupons in. Really, I know y'all are like, are you serious? That's going to take a freaking lot of time. Not really. Like, Colin can tell you, well, probably he can't now because it was a long time ago. But when I first made this, I sat down, it was like Saturday. We were like watching a movie and I sat down and put my coupons in there. It took like an hour, which that was just getting started. Now it takes, I spend maybe like two minutes a week sticking coupons in there. Also in my binder is my scissors. <laughs> this is probably the third most important thing. Also important is your handy dandy graphing calculator. It doesn't have to be graphing, but I prefer that. Okay, so the fourth most important thing is your couponing websites. I'll put them downstairs where the links are down there, you know. Um, I Heart Public is my favorite one because I just like it. So it can be overwhelming though. I've told lots of people to go here and the first time I went here I was like, are you kidding? She posts like 400 posts every day. Like what is all this stuff? But, you know, if you want to, if you have time and once you get into it, you start looking through this stuff. And there's some interesting, like, good coupon for back to school eggs or whatever, Welch's stuff, um, blah, blah, blah. But if you're just wanting to straight up do your couponing for your groceries, which lately I haven't had a whole lot of time, I'll go straight to the weekly ads link right here. Um, if you're getting started, some other important helpful links are also the basics right here. Um, FAQs are really helpful. They answer all kinds of questions. Um, booklets, because there's a lot of booklets that are mentioned. Um, that's helpful too. So you click the <laughs> weekly ads button and I'll show you where I usually start. So this is stuff for the future week. Um, right now we're still in between August 4th and August the 10th. So usually I'll start with the super deals and those are the things that are the best deals at Publix for the week. So my goal is to try to get as, not get as many of these, but to really only use these as much as I can. Um, sometimes I'll do some of the other sale things that aren't as, they aren't as good of deals. The rest of them are listed on a different page. They're not as good of deals, but they're still good deals like if you need it. Super deals, you know are gonna be good deals. So you're gonna say, okay, Powerade, do I need that? Not really. Um, Ocean Spray, we probably drink some juice, but at that point when I think maybe we could use it, I'll look and see, you know, how good of a deal is it going to be. And on the super deals, she'll tell you exactly how much it's going to be if you have all the coupons, which that's going to probably be in part two, how to match up all the coupons. So right now we're starting out with just like the next step. Like I said before, on Sunday, all I do is I just get the coupons out, stick them in my little folders. The coupons right now are resting. I haven't, say it's like, usually it's Tuesday, I'm last minute, and the deals end on Tuesday If in some places. Some places they end on Wednesday. So it'll usually be like Monday night, which is right now, and I'll be working on my grocery deals and my list for Tuesday. So at this point, I haven't even looked at the coupons again from the sun, or even at all from Sunday. So I'm just sitting down making my list. Um, so I made my list, and this is just my list based on the super deals. So typically, after I do my super deals list, I'll go to the full ad and also add in any other little things that I want to buy um, or need to buy that are on sale but aren't super deals. So I didn't do all that for this right now because I'm just trying to get through it quick. Okay, so on my super deals list, the first thing I have, like I said earlier, is the Quaker Chewy Granola Bars. So when I made my list... I left a little space to the left hand side because y'all I'm really like I'm probably a little bit way too detail oriented and perfectionistic esque. Yep. I write a little two above the quicker right? So tell me how many I'm gonna get. And then I put here what the price is. So three dollars. So I'm gonna spend three dollars on this and I'm gonna get two of them. So that's it. I get all these coupons together. I've got my list and as I do it, like I said, I write down the quantity of each I'm buying and how much it costs. It really doesn't take as long as I'm making it sound because I'm just going on and on. Always take my graphing calculator with me to the store. Um, make sure I have them all in order because it's really annoying if you 
get there and you don't know where all your coupons are and they go everywhere and you spill them, don't do that. What we talked about today is step one, what you need, which was a place to keep all of the coupon booklets from the Sunday papers. Um, so I guess that'd be A. A, a place to keep all this, the coupon booklets that you've saved from Sunday papers. B, um, a binder to keep all, or whatever you want to use. I don't care what you use. It's not like this is a class or something. Um, a binder to keep all of the excess coupons that you've collected from different places. See some scissors. What can that ever see? <laughs> um, D is for the website. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so not good. Part D, piece number D is the website that you use. Okay, so that was step one, was getting together what you need. Step two was making the list. So use your websites. I use iHeartPublics.com. Um, other people like SouthernSavers.com, which is similar, but they have a lot of grocery stores listed, not just Publix. Um, get your list. Go to your website. Make your list. Gather up all your coupons and get them ready. And then we will cover steps three and four for the next part, which will be go into the grocery store, and that's only one step. So, just step three <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah. I know this is like a lot of information, and probably it's going to be like 40 minutes long because I ramble a lot. But really, if you have questions, um, I had 40 million questions when I first started and um, asked lots of people. Follow me on Twitter, tweet me, At or Facebook me, or leave comments like on the YouTuber page down there in your room. Go to your Thank you, Bonnie!